Let's add trees to your picture today. So trees basically are thicker at the trunk and they get smaller and smaller as they go towards the top of the tree. So here is an example. You could also make something called a Y tree. See how there's a Y at the, the base of it? And then just tiny little Ys branch off of it. And the more Ys you have, the more realistic it becomes. All right, let's add some trees. You are going to use oil pastels to create your trees and grass. And so draw, start with the fold wherever you decided to crease your paper in half and draw your grass going up. And remember, we want to show the texture of that grass. So lots of lines and remember to press hard when you're creating the grass. And when you're ready, let's do some trees. So remember, we're having it thicker at the bottom and they're branching out skinnier as it goes up towards the top. And I'm still pressing hard with my oil pastel. Eventually, we wanna draw the same thing underneath because what's underneath? It's the reflection. So we can add that in just the best we can. I think you'll find it's kinda of tricky to draw the same thing upside down, but we can give it a try. And also you might think of other things that you might want either in the grass or in the water. So um, you can create that with your oil pastels too. All right, I cannot wait to see these trees when you are all done with them today. Since we're doing a reflection, I think it would help to have some wavy blue lines to show the water. And you can draw just right across those trees. Those wavy lines can kind of break up the reflection a little bit. And still remember to press hard with your oil pastel when you're creating the lines. Next up, be thinking about what type of sky you want to paint for the background.